The Sleepless Adventure of Sammy Once upon a time in a cozy little house at the edge of a forest, there lived a little boy named Sammy. Sammy was a bundle of energy, always excited and ready to explore the world, even when the moon was high in the sky. The only problem was, Sammy didn't like to sleep. One night, as the stars twinkled and the crickets sang their lullabies, Sammy's mom, Mrs. Johnson, tucked him into bed. She read him a story about a mischievous rabbit who just couldn't sit still, hoping it might help Sammy fall asleep. But Sammy wasn't interested in sleeping. He tossed and turned, his little eyes wide open like shiny marbles. I'm not tired, mom, he declared with a yawn that contradicted his words. Mrs. Johnson smiled and sat on the edge of Sammy's bed. Sammy, she said gently, even adventurers need their rest. You never know what exciting things you might discover in your dreams. Sammy considered this for a moment. But mom, I'm not an adventurer yet. I need to practice first. Mrs. Johnson chuckled. All right, how about this? If you close your eyes and dream of an adventure, I promise I'll take you on one tomorrow. Sammy's eyes lit up. A real adventure? Promise? Promise, Mrs. Johnson said with a wink. But first, you need to close your eyes and let Mr. Sandman work his magic. Sammy gave in, his eyelids drooping. He closed his eyes and imagined a fantastical journey to a land where candy grew on trees, animals talked, and rivers were made of chocolate milk. Slowly but surely, Sammy drifted off to sleep, his dreams filled with wonder. The next morning, Sammy woke up with the sun shining through his window. He couldn't believe it, he had actually fallen asleep. With a smile on his face, he rushed downstairs to find his mom. Mom, I had the best adventure ever in my dreams. Sammy exclaimed. Mrs. Johnson gave him a big hug. I knew you could do it, Sammy. Now, what kind of adventure should we have today? Sammy thought for a moment, his eyes sparkling with excitement. How about a picnic in the forest, Mom? And maybe we can look for talking animals just like in my dream. Mrs. Johnson agreed, and together they packed a picnic basket and set off into the forest. They laughed, played, and had the most wonderful time. Sammy realized that adventures were just as fun in the real world as they were in his dreams. That night, Sammy was so tired from his real-life adventure that he fell asleep without any fuss. As he drifted off, he knew that he could have exciting adventures both in his dreams and in the world around him, thanks to the warmth and love of his mom. And so, dear children, remember that even the most energetic explorers need their rest. Dreams can be just as thrilling as real-life adventures, and with a little imagination, you can have both, surrounded by the love of those who care for you.